So basically, the thing I want to talk about with these schools is that first it was only this school that was here. It was the, it, we called it a boys' school. Um, it was a Protestant school. There was a Protestant church. This church started in 1920. This is a, it was a Protestant church, St. Aidan's. Anyways, what happened was, all of a sudden you have this huge influx of Italians coming in after the war. At the beginning, they used to go to Holy Cross School. Um, then what happened was, after the war, my mother was a teacher, and a lot of the kids who would come, like there were kids that were immigrating from Belgium, like uh, Caltillo, who, who came from Belgium. There were others who came from France. These kids even knew French. They were, my mother would bring these, school, these kids to the French school. They refused Italians. They did not want Italian children in the schools. They didn't want immigrants. They didn't want immigrants, period. It was like, you don't know the language too bad, we don't want you. So and what now happens? you have to go. Right? Yeah. yeah. So what happens is she brought them to the English school, and they said, well, look, these kids, and this was even the ones who knew French, they didn't want them because they were Italian. So she brought them to the English school. She says, listen, you don't know English. They're like, well, it doesn't matter. Bring them in here, they'll learn. And so that's how the English became part, the Italians became part of the English school system. Yeah. Uh, what happened was, again, you see, how you see an effect in a neighborhood, in a built environment, is that this school had to be built. Because where the hell are you going to put all these kids, right? There were so many kids that then they divided them at one point. They made this the boys' school and that was the girls' school. That was built in 1961. It was first called St. Gaul's, then it became St. John Bosco Girls, St. John Bosco Boys, because it was tied in with the parish. Um, the priests, they don't want the boy and the girl together. That's yeah, why. that's true. Yeah. If you notice, even yeah. a lot of old schools, it says, you know, feet, Boys and gas, entrance, girls, and entrance. they're divided, oh, yeah. right? The entrances also. Anyways, what? James Lane, yeah, too, we had that. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. So we had the boys' side like and the girls' side. You know, I, I found out at Ling, eh? They had two intercom systems, so the girls wouldn't hear the boys' announcements. <laughs> yeah, because you guys were probably in trouble all the time. So, and it was, and, and the, the other thing was, is that the, the kids have these memories. There used to be Mr. Briette that was the, the principal over here, and he was really tough. And the boys used to get the shop in those days. Well, the girls. So did the girls, and Miss Brady. Yeah, she was, oh, yes. Oh, yeah, she wasn't very nice. You learned to lie effectively. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we used to, they used to get the strap, but the boys were more afraid of going home and having their fathers see the strap because they would get more beat up by their dads for not being, you know, doing or by their moms. Yeah. And by them, well, that was the Irish, right? Yeah. It was the yep. Irish, the moms were the Irish in the family that uh, did the beating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See, like the Italian family of... was the father. No, the mother did it too. She would do it with spoons and toys. Slippers. Yeah. Yeah. Slippers. Yeah. 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 Is that church still open? Yeah, it is. No, it's an Indian um, temple. Temple oh. or something. But it's Indian nice that they have it as a place of worship, you know? The boys used to get in trouble all the time, but, but what used to happen was they used to be able to lie because they would get these notes in, a, in, a, in English. They would lie to their parents about what the note was about. The parents would sign it and they would get out of trouble. And the Salah story was a little different because it was my mother that was a teacher there. So the, the principal uh, used to have my mother call the Italian parents. And I remember being like terrified because I felt like, oh, everybody in the Salah's hate me. Because like my mother's calling all these people. Okay, let's go. Hey, look, there's still an Italian guy living there. But here, I work like there's no I said, I work on the field. No, Again? Again? What the hell? <laughs> Every time I go here, I think it's Oh, that I Yeah, yeah, they sold it because you didn't want to get off the field. This is nice, huh? This space is, this is like, you want to, I'm sure it's the number one Jane Jacobs love is, is the lanes yeah. in the neighborhood, okay? Yeah. Lanes are private, public spaces. All kinds of stuff go on in the lane. Dahlia was telling me even when she was a kid, right? As the girls, we weren't allowed to go far, right? And so what would our parents do? Play in the lane. This was our first uh, sense of liberty. And this lane was off limits to anybody in the school. Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> Talena! He's not here right now. He's gone to put something away. Oh, you see, we said we are going to lose him. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but a couple of things, okay? The lane stories, like I was telling you about Boulevard Monk stories, okay? The lane stories, if you talk to the people that were here before the war, they will talk about the lanes and you tell it, you tell it. Like in, in terms of like the garbage truck would come and there was the guy who would, there was a guy who used to buy uh, rags and, and they, they, they used to call him Ganiyu. 
because he, saw, he yeah. bought the Gini, Gini with yeah. the rags and he would give a sense so there was the Gini, you man that used to pass and was the guy that shot the knife sharpener. The oil, remember the oil? Yeah. yeah. The oil yeah. thing? Oh, yeah. Okay, so when you talk to the older people, they tell you, oh yeah, there was this guy and that passed and that guy that passed. The stories are about function. Okay? When you talk to Caltillo's generation, okay, that came after the war, they're still about function, okay? There, there's no, um, there, there were places that you moved around and you had to go. They don't start getting into stories about lanes, okay? Now where it changes is that uh, when you talk to Tolino, then it changes, okay? He'll deny most of it. Right? He might deny He'll some He'll deny of it. everything, but that's okay. But when you talk to my generation, we're the ones who took possessions of this, these lanes, okay? We started to play in the lanes. The girls have stories about the lane because it was a sense of freedom. It was the girls where the girls could actually go and the parents wouldn't be bothered. When you think about it, these houses, the kitchens are all in the backyard. The mothers were in the kitchens. They were watching, so you had eyes on you no matter where you were in the lane, okay? You knew you were being watched by someone. So the girls talk about the lanes in terms of freedom. The boys talk about the lanes completely different. The boys' stories are all about turf, marking turf, okay? Now this lane, for example, there was a gang called the Hell's Riders at one point in time, right? And Tolino was the president of that gang. <laughs> and nobody could come into this. Now I felt, as it, the funny thing was, is I felt totally safe here and at the park. It's only later that I realized it was these guys who used to protect these lanes, okay? Lanes were, here are some of Tolino's pictures. Oh, please work. Touch. A dozen? It did before. Okay, wait a minute. Cancel. Wait, no, I think it'll work. Okay, if you look through my broken down iPad. <laughs> okay, come. Okay, this is another lane. It's not this lane. I think, Tolino, you have one picture of this lane, eh? Here that you. This is a, uh, these are lanes of the kids. <laughs> okay, guys, if I'm missing a few more. This is Jack. Okay. This is right over here, right? Is your mom watching you, Joyce? <laughs> no, she's hey, a... What is it? I don't know which one. Right. Okay, these were the shindis. We used to have these shindis in the lane. You know the shacks in the back? We used to call them shindis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sheds, yeah. Okay, now... The, the, the I used lanes. to have a rabbit inside. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of animals too that walked around here. So what happened was in these lanes, they were divided up along ethnic lines. Tolino, jump in any time. The, line, the lanes were divided, and, and you too, uh, Alberto. The lanes were divided along ethnic lines, okay? So you had French lanes, you had Italian lanes, right? Yeah. Okay, and this lane was Italian. Was Italian. And as the flag shows. As the flag shows. <laughs> <laughs> and so the, from near and far. <laughs> from near and far. All yeah. around. <laughs> and oh shit, we're losing everything. Okay. Why is that Bruno? Bruno? Bruno. I gotta watch yeah, his Bruno's gonna have your head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my old pen and yeah. so to live right there. Basically, oh they would they would they would fight for possession of these lanes, right? And they would they, and then how would you take power? You would take power through numbers and fight. They did this with lanes and they did this with parks. And so you, in Villamard we had French parks, we had Italian parks. And Newman Park was, was an Italian park, right? Now I'm gonna do some other stories about the parks over there. But what's interesting is it's all about marking turf. If you look at the lanes today, you could tell the nationality and the people that are living in the house just by the lane. You could tell, like, oh, the, the Italians the garden. <laughs> are the lanes. Now, what's happened is the assimilation in, in uh, Villa Mart, the French people are starting to make more gardens. So it's the French that have assimilated towards the Italian ways in Villa Mart. And you're starting to see that more and more, and they're, and they're becoming damn good gardeners, too. And so this is what's happening. Do we have to go to your house? I'll show the... Yeah, come, come, come. Oh my God. You can tell it's a French door or an Italian door.